Joe's garden hose can fill the pool in 12 hours. His neighbor has a hose that can fill the pool in 15 hours. How long will it take to fill the pool with both hoses? Let's begin by identifying our variable. Let's let T represent the time it takes to fill the pool with both hoses. Now I recognize this as a work rate problem. Let's organize our data in a chart. The amount of tasks completed is equal to the work rate times the time. And we have Joe's hose filling the pool and his neighbor's hose helping. The task here is to fill the pool and we want to complete one task. Now Joe's garden hose can fill the pool in 12 hours. Therefore, Joe's hose has a work rate of 1 over 12. In other words, it can do 1 12th of the job in one hour. His neighbor has a hose that can fill the pool in 15 hours. Its work rate is 1 over 15. It can do 1 15th of the job in one hour. T is the unknown. That's the time working together to fill the pool. Now multiplying the amount of tasks that Joe's hose will complete is 1 12th times T. And the amount of task that his neighbor's hose will complete is 1 15th times T. And those amounts should add up to 1. So this column here, this first column, defines our algebraic setup. In this case, we have 1 12th t plus 1 15th t equals 1, or equivalently, t over 12 plus t over 15 equals 1. We have a rational equation that can be solved for t, the time it takes to fill the pool with both hoses. We'll multiply both sides by the LCD, which is 60. On the left side here, we have to take care to distribute. 60 times t over 12 is 5t, plus 60 times t over 15 is 4t, and 1 times 60 is 60. Same side like terms, we have 9t equals 60. To solve for t, we can then divide both sides by 9. That'll leave us with t equals 6 and 6 ninths. Oh, we can reduce that a little bit and write t equals 6 and 2 thirds. Now remember, t is the time it takes for both hoses to fill the pool. So that's 6 and 2 thirds of an hour.